Hello, not here. Welcome back to Stellaris. The wolves are getting restless. We've been uh, busy with, with all kinds of uh, empire management, uh, administrativia, and, and things like that. Upgrading uh, buildings, hunting cows, of course, that's also an uh, important part. Up and yeah, setting up some 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 System things. But I I'm, I'm feeling like war again. Also, we have research mineral processing, so that's the mineral processing plant. Okay, that means we have new engineering research. Oh, another rare strategic resource, the granthium ore. Um, we want it. That's very easy. No clue what to do with it, but it's going to be useful. Um. Ishma has been fully surveyed. Excellent. There's uh, debris in here as well. So you are currently... Let's uh, tell you to just uh, do something useful with that first. Then you are going to survey Olimar. Then you're going to survey over there. So I... No, I, I can trust... My allies to do the surveying of stuff that's within their borders. So this way we will uh, survey in the last little bits and then we can move on. So currently we have our ship that's uh, sleeping in Adenir. Sleeping in Adenir shouldn't actually be the thing. They should be docked. Um, so there's, they're just sitting out there. Also science ship. Uh, please research this. Wait, we were... Uh, do we have anything left to upgrade? We just keep getting so stuff. Ah, this is uh, regenerative hull tissue. It only does the regeneration, so... I'm not valuing it that highly just yet. We were researching better warp engines, I think. Warp drive, that's gonna be... I believe we were going for better warp drives. Hey, whatever. Um, fleet, you go upgrade now. And then after that, we'll uh, gonna look for trouble. So maybe we can actually just detach a. Uh, I think I want a, a secondary uh, science vessel. That that's that that's gonna be the important decision first. We want a second science class science ship. And we can get ourselves a second science officer for that as well. And space cows, are they? Yes. Okay, but they're in, uh, in allied space. So that's not an issue. So the fleet has been repaired, now it's being upgraded. Hostile fleet detected. Construction complete. Um, Hisela. Let me guess. Down there. Yes, I'm getting better at this. Spaceport has been is done with its observation post. Ah, there all are. More cows. Mining station. We have one building that's unused right now. Ah, that one. Produces quite a lot of power. Actually, it's more optimal to assign things this way. Then we only have uh, a tree power that's unused. We have quite a bunch of uh, tree power space foxes, actually. So, our power output just increases. That's good. That's good. Okay. So, spaceport. We built a science vessel. Get ourselves a science officer. Upgrade our fleet and then we just uh, start uh, investigating on two fronts. I might have to... I might, I, I, maybe I should have done it earlier. But no, that, that's all the stuff in, uh, in hindsight. So, let's uh, recruit ourselves another scientist. So, you are... 
have an expertise in statecraft, you live long, or you are a true research genius. I think I want you. And that also means I'm gonna shift some things around. You are maniacal, that's 5% bonus. You just live longer. And we no longer have a living scientist here because you just died. Okay, that settles that. Also means I still need a scientist. Also, I need to name you. So, Catril, you are now going to be known as Marcel Verdaasdonk. That sounds suspiciously Dutch or Belgian. Either way, welcome to the Wolven Empire, Marshal. Let's see, statecraft, lifespan, surveying speed. Oh, excellent, a roamer that surveys fast. That's gonna be very good for a science ship. Okay. So, uh, we have the other ship uh, working up there. So the, uh, the new ship, it can do its magic down here. And actually we're just... Oh, these are high level, high skill level uh, special events. So we can skip those. We're just gonna start by uh, scouting medium. Yep. Um. This one has medium level intel, but I can't right click to say survey. This is weird. Can enter orbit, enter orbit. Okay. Ah, uh, we're just gonna move on. Survey the systems that we don't know about yet. I think we've uh, been here in the past. We have medium intel, so we know there's not gonna be any hostile space creature things. And after this, we'll, uh, we'll see. So, Constructor is still doing a lot of work. Holy moly, this is doing a lot of work. Also, this is now uh, in our uh, space, so we might as well build things. Well, that's the good thing of ever expanding borders. We just get more things to uh, to build on. And presumably, once we got stuff up here, if this is habitable, we actually might gain another world or two to be part of the empire. Either way, let's presume. So, 1290. Resume Upgrading is going to take a while. Debris okay. Debris analyzed. Uh, more of the stuff. We have the red crystal capacitors now. So those are the, the shard throwers that are relevant at medium range, I think. Not at small range. But we were not actively researching it, so it doesn't really matter. It's just a bonus, just for, uh, for the debris. How about we in terms of uh, bonus uh, research? Doing pretty darn well. So I seem to remember doing something with uh, a policy here. Oh, we should actually enact the physics bonus bo boost, not the. There's nothing mentioned here for the construction complete for the edicts. You know what, we'll give up with it and we'll just compensate with it via buildings. I I don't see how this is working right now. There's no noticeable impact, at least no visible impact. Um, we built something on Dolga Spring. Ah, that's the observatory, I think. That's good. And we have a mining station, very good for you. Thirty-seven percent. Yeah, this is a big armada. It's gonna take a while to uh, to upgrade. Let's uh, go to uh, the fastest speed. Someone gained XP. Nazim, you're level two now. Excellent. Once you get to three, you can actually start collecting space Pokemon, which we have to catch all of, of course. Anomaly found. Anomaly found. Skill two, level two, 
30% risk. Tricky. A small docking hatch leading to the interior of this asteroid is visible at the rim of a small crater on its surface. The hatch was likely concealed once, but it has since been exposed by micrometeorite impacts. Gotta do it. Worst case, uh, if it fails, then you might lose your scientist, so there's always a risk. We'll see. We will see. Olimar has been fully surveyed, so ah, oh, actually Olimar is up here. We have a arid world that we can't do anything with. Oh, someone died. Scientist David, age of 85. Ah, that's they are all reaching the age where we have to start replacing them. Also, we found a derelict shipyard. A large portion of asteroid Veer 3547 has been hollowed out to allow for the construction of some kind of shipyard. It has been abandoned and exposed to the vacuum of space for centuries. If anything useful remained, it has already been looted by previous explorers. The design of the shipyard itself is unique, however, and much could potentially be learned from its study. We should uh, study its construction. Plus 3 to engineering research. Right, also, we have uh, have to pick a new scientist. Uh, statecraft boost, linear lifespan boost, or anomaly discovery chance, 10%. Interesting for a scout. Um, Nazim, you are a, a, a researcher. So, actually, pick a scout. Um... Why do they all seem to be named Cognut? So we rename you to a Lucid Exclusive. Welcome to the Wolven Pack. Yeah, because Cognut is not one of the names that's uh, in my list, so that's uh, I forgot to rename someone. And we got a Limatar, who is also a new. So let's rename you. You are going to be Eric Saluso. Welcome to the Wolven Pack. So we're gonna do some uh, some switching. So we're gonna pick Nazim, who's currently commanding Combat the Merciless. You are now going to be our uh, a researcher. Um, actually, we're gonna switch with Marshall because industry and industry. Are a good match. Uh, yes, so Marshall, Marshall, where are you? There. Now we have a, a science ship that now will get a leader. That's gonna be Eric, who is very fond about discovering new things in space. And that all while everything is in space. Um, we had a lot of things survey or uh, queued up, didn't we? Okay, for now, just uh, let you move on. Then I think we can't actually do some surveying. Okay, so that's weird. It says uh, medium level intel. Presumably, that means we don't have it fully mapped out yet. Oh wait, that's actually different. Medium level intel is just we know about the layout, but we currently have no vision there. Ah. Right, so you uh, do some scouting and after that we're... Uh, then how's the other one and doing? doing? Okay, excellent. So let's continue time. How was the upgrades going? Almost done, 1290. Ships 1553. So that's 260 uh, damage rating points that we gained from upgrading. Also, we built uh, something on our spaceport in Atmar. That's the upgrade, of course. Yes, that makes sense. We have a field modulation research. That's going to be oh, a second uh, generation power plants. Very good. And uh, this is all unbonused research. 
extra survey speed. Now that we are uh, looking for stuff, that's good. Also, data bank uplinks means we can turn science ships into uh, science boost for planets once we are done uh, exploring. This might be very useful. Um, subspace sensors. Sensor range of 30 of medium components. Interesting. Let's pick the subspace sensors. And we have found more cows. A Yultop out of our reach. Okay, we have been fully upgraded. That's good. So our armada is all the way up north. We can move them down to uh, to Ceres, I think. And, uh, System survey complete. We'll see what we can do with that. System survey complete. Survey complete. Anything interesting here? Just a science that we can glean from this. Um, interestingly, what is here? A mining station owned by our allies and some uh, unexplored What the heck is this? This is an unidentified empire Okay, I just messed up the orders. It's, it's very annoying that, that it randomly doesn't respond to the, the shift right click rather than at least giving an option For now, uh, actually just clear your orders. Survey. 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 Um, we just need to go to, uh, to Polaris. So I'm thinking. We can build a frontier outpost if we would want, then we can gain some uh, some influence in this area. And that should push into this to also get Polaris on our side. So, But then we get uh, access to some physics research and some minerals and we can snatch this away. On the other hand, if we just wait a little bit, then we integrate the the, the Hoofiers and then it's also going to be uh, a past issue. I just have to be slightly more patient. Hostile fleet detected. Oh, let me guess. Space cows. Research complete. Uh, where are the space cows? They are unknown. Oh, Grantium mining. That's uh, interesting because it uh, revealed a new resource. We have one Grantium for us. That's good. Alright, so engineering research is now revealing an industry. Which we could give to Nazim. Um, it's also the cheapest of the of the options. And robotic pops means we can build a population that are pretty good at mining. Actually, they're basically like slaves, and they don't get unhappy. So do that, and then Olivier, you are now going to be replaced with Nazim and Olivier. You are gonna do your work here. Uh, yeah. Wow, 92 years old. You have lived to a very high age. Our armada is currently bored and not in orbit. So let's actually put you in orbit. That seems like a better idea. And have a look at the new strategic resource. So this one is currently building, 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 building. Janna here has one. And as far as I can see, nothing else has it. Also, nothing of the new planets has it. That's uh, That stuff is therefore pretty rare. Seems like a, an apt conclusion to draw here. Um, I forgot what, what it did. So I'm trying to look for a space with an empty building. Uh, um, you, uh, can we replace you? Yes, then we also can have a look. 
Garantium works. Planet modifier. Construction time 10% less. Building cost 10% less. Empire modifier. Construction time 10% less and building cost 10% less. Wow. That's pretty cool. I wonder if the building is also going to be for ships. So that would be pretty cool if you can build ships and uh, does everything faster. I like it. it. I think it should go on our uh, on our main planet. How are we in terms of food? We have a surplus of five, so we make twenty. We eat fourteen, so we can sacrifice uh, a farm here. And just replace it with a uh, Garantium works. Yes. Excellent. What's the tree? Also, we have upgrades. Um, also, we have uh, a surplus of uh, Beltharian stones. So, instead of upgrading, we might actually want to replace this with a Beltharian power plant. Because that's better. And we can do the same thing here. Replace this with uh, another Beltharian power plant. Then we have that taken care of. Then we can upgrade this to just a regular tier 2 power plant. And this is going to be a regular tier 2 power plant. And actually, let's uh, time advance while we have a look at this. System survey oh. complete. A leader has gained a level. Lucid Exclusive has leveled up and is now level 2. That's pretty quick. That's cool. Alfard has been fully surveyed. There's... Nothing worth, nothing of interest in Alfar. Okay. We, uh, let's see, the Inari system has established a, a diplomatic uh, embassy with us. Okay. Why? Uh, I mean, uh, sure, good idea. We always want more friends. Or something. Dominion of Sidris. They have an. Uh, Oh yeah, we have an embassy with them. The Inari, they are also despots. Actually, they're materialist, fanatic pacifists. Wait, well, but they are superior. Their fleet is superior, the tech is superior, and the naval is equivalent. I am uh, willing to, uh, to, to uh, stay on peaceful terms with them. There's no point in challenging someone who's clearly stronger. So if they want to be our friends, then uh, I'm all for it. But this is slowly where we get into the, the Europa Universalis-like stage of the game, where relationships are starting to form, rivalries are starting to form, alliances, uh, the, the, the lines of power are slowly being drawn. We'll just have to see how that works out in the end. System survey complete. If we could have made the jump over to the to the Terrassi Star Kingdom, we would have uh, invaded them by now. Just uh, I'll be very clear about that. Conjurance, it's gonna take a while before we can integrate them. Do they stop? Did they stop hating us already? They did. They're loyal now. Excellent. That means we can't integrate them yet. Oh, one at a time. That's that's fine. But we can offer you a research agreement trade deal. So we are closer together, that's good. So we need to only offer you uh, a little bit of minerals, which we still have plenty of. Uh, more space cows, sure, but we'll first deal, the, deal with this. Uh, shift. Ah. Wow, 41 was the magic number. Excellent. Um, maybe we should actually make it last for say, 20 years. Okay, excellent. So, uh, mining station and more space cars in Ulkat, which is pretty close to where we are. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, space cows, you win. 
So we have a signed ship. Commander Merciless is done with its uh, sciency stuff. We have a level one officer, so can we do this? No, we need to be at least level three or higher. So more scouting duty for you. That's okay. We'll just uh, send you out to survey. How's the other ship doing? You're also going there. Let's uh, just uh, start surveying uh, all the way out there. And this one. Can we make it over to the door? No, we can't. We need to. Uh, Actually, we just can't. We can't make the jump right now. Yeah, now we go over there. And then we go over there. And over there. So far, so good. Let's uh, advance. A trade deal offer from the Kanjodans. They, they accept our trade proposal. Excellent. So, yeah, okay, you don't, don't see it here. Also, our science is uh, rapidly rising by just an investment in our uh, infrastructure. Also, lots of stuff happening. It finished building all the stuff, and we have more upgrades. Excellent. So, a basic science becomes a physics lab. A basic power plant becomes a better power plant, uh, better power plant, better power plant, Beltharan power plant level 2, better power plant. These days the, the upgrade indicator symbol is also clickable to instantly go to it. That, that's that's nicely, uh, nicely done. Also, these are collectivists, but they're not fanatic collectivists, so they are uh, they frown upon having slaves. So the interesting thing is we enslave them and they disappear because slaves can't reproduce. So you can't have ghost slaves, which is a very nice way to just poof, get rid of them before you spot the problem. Ah, these are slaves. Okay, that's okay. Uh, Nothing left to upgrade. Let's see, we can just uh, continue time while having a look at the upgrades here. So, upgrades, upgrades. This is going to be a massive boost for our uh, nationwide power output. It will allow us to stockpile uh, a pretty good war chest, actually. We need to start spending this stuff like crazy. Or actually turn some of these uh, things that could be uh, minerals. This is just an empty tile. Currently it has a uh, power plant. Actually console the upgrade and replace it with a mine. Oh, also we have a mineral processing plant. Which is going to give us plus two, plus 10% for the planet, which is going to be an upgrade. Because we produce 10. So it's going to be a plus one on top. We probably want one on every planet. You can really get lost in the micromanagement here, I, uh, I suspect. Is this is a regular power plant as well. Empty terrain, yep. Since we're going to be drowning in power, might as well replace this with one of these uh, mineral processing plants because we have more than enough of that stuff. Let's see, like a 
springs, no upgrades, and here, oh, we have a small farm that can be upgraded. Oh, oh, our planet can upgrade, that's even better. Excellent. Let's uh, increase uh, the speed again. Space cows, yep, space cows. So how is our constructor ship doing? Still very, very busy. Uh, that's also going to be the, the last hmm. bit until we start colonizing again. I completed the robotic workers, excellent. Uh, let's see, defense stations, auto cannons, ceramo metal armor. Let's go for the defense station. So with robots, we can plop them down on any location that produces minerals. And we're gonna get a production output bonus there. So, you are currently mining minerals. So, if we uh, move you to over here, for example. Hey, interesting. Why? Okay, so we are, because we are strong and because of our empire, we just get a small bonus. But we could say, well... Um, we can build a robot. Which is going to produce 10% more minerals as well. And it's not going to get unhappy. And it's going to have maximum habitability. And there's no upkeep. So for now... Let's try it. It's mechanical and it's a robot. It also has ethics divergence, interestingly enough. Uh, robots can't be enslaved. You can disassemble them. Interesting. This could lead to unintended side effects but that, that's probably going to be half the fun so let's uh, all hail our future robotic overlords robotic wolven overlords of course they're going to be uh, wolven robots that's uh, they're going to be modeled in their own image because of course well we as the space wolves we are pretty darn good Our uh, science ships are currently looking for new places and we have a tropical world here. Which means we need to uh, procure ourselves a ship. We will use your spaceport now. We will build a colony ship now. And it's gonna be with proper wolves. Oh. Okay, you got some slaves. That's why you got some uh, ethically divergent people. Yes, okay. all the people who have to be enslaved are enslaved, so that, that's good. So, next colony ship has been in queued. But uh, it's going to be next episode when we actually get it. And when we start expanding, just to push a little bit in on our allies. Speaking of allies, yes, I know I'm getting sidetracked. Hulfir, how is the integration going? 18 months, that's uh, one and a half years. That's probably going to be next episode as well. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So with that, I'm going to thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.